we just found several snowy owl pellets. Uh, what a pellet is, is owls tend to swallow their prey whole, especially if it's something relatively small, like a rat or a vole. But they are unable to digest the bones and the fur. So all that undigestible material gets compacted together in their intestines and they cough it up as a pellet. It's called casting a pellet. And uh, what I can do is I can look through the pellet and identify the bones that I find inside so that I can know what the snowy owls are eating. It'll be really interesting to see what they're eating in such an urban environment. Uh, it's a bird that we think of as being a real, uh, a real bird that signals wilderness because it nests, it spends most of it the year up on the tundra very far from people. But every once in a while, uh, because of, usually because of uh, food resources, we have what's called an eruption year. And this year is an eruption year, and I'm interested to collect snowy owl pellets and examine their contents so I can learn what they're eating while they're in Chicago. Do you have to be careful when you handle the pellets? Um, yeah, so the, the pellets are a bit fragile. They're not, uh, I, I like to keep them in one piece until I get back uh, to the field museum where I'm going to analyze them so that I can know, so that I can identify the individual pellets. Um, owls, it's generally thought that owls um, cough up one pellet per day. So what we have is a snapshot of everything that it ate in the previous 24 hours or so. So I like to keep the pellets in one piece so I can know um, each, the precise contents of each pellet so they don't get all mixed together. So if we find them, we should pick it up with paper, never touch it with our hands. Yeah, it's not, um, there's nothing in a pellet. So if you do find a snowy owl pellet, it's good to have a plastic bag to carry it in. Um, there's probably nothing, there's nothing in the pellet that's gonna harm a human. Um, it's not dangerous to, to handle it, but they're a bit messy. Uh, you can see that my, my gloves are getting a little bit dirty, so I like to handle them with gloves. It's a bit neater. Well, I've uh, seen three castings. They've all been in the evening, so I'm wondering if that's pretty much when they do it. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't know their daily cycle. Um, I've actually heard that they often do it in the morning, but it's uh, it may be really very Maybe this time of year with this type of light, they're doing it in the evening because that's when they're going to start hunting. Could be. <laughs> Alrighty.